Hey there, welcome back to the At Home Dive YouTube channel. As always, my name is Joey, and today we're in the kitchen making something fantastic. Today, I got a request for fish tacos. So I'm gonna show you a couple of my favorite ways to make fish tacos. I also had a few questions about the At Home Dive t-shirts. If you are interested in those, feel free to shoot me a message. I'll put my email address right here. That's gonna be athomedive at gmail.com. Pretty simple to remember. So sit back, hit that subscribe button, and let's dive right in. So your fish tacos are great with some kind of salsa. So I have an ear of corn and a poblano pepper here. I'm gonna get them nice and charred on all sides and then I'm gonna make a salsa out of them. We're gonna set the corn aside to cool down and we're gonna take the poblano pepper and we're gonna wrap it with plastic wrap. And it's steaming inside there for over the next 10 minutes or so. It's gonna help the skin release from the pepper and make it really easy to peel. Next, I'm gonna start a creamy coleslaw dressing for the fried fish tacos. If you wanna see the full video on how to make this, click the link in the top right corner now. So this is the creamy dill coleslaw that we're gonna be using later on in the video. Now that the pepper set a couple of minutes to continue uh, letting the skin loosen up, we're gonna go ahead and continue with the salsa. This is just a small piece of a carrot that I happen to have setting aside, and we're gonna make some small diced carrot with this. Now we have the corn on the cob that's cool enough to touch. We're simply just gonna remove it from the cob and now the pepper. So what we're looking at now is now that the pepper is nice and cooked and sat and steamed, we can actually just peel the skin back quite easily. Then I'm simply just gonna take the pepper and dice it up as well. All right, now that we have the corn, the carrot, and the peppers in there all getting comfortable, I have a few cubes of lime here. That way they're super easy to squeeze. And I'm just gonna squeeze the lime juice all over the top of the beginnings of our salsa here. And the lime juice is actually gonna kind of penetrate and start to break down the vegetables that are in there, as well as give it a lot of like nice flavor and that fresh lime juice. Next, I'm gonna add a good pinch of salt. Salt's really gonna be your preference. The salt's also gonna help break down the flavors and bring everything together. Next, just take a spoon. I'm gonna break up all the corn and mix this together well. And then I'm gonna set it aside just to hang out and let everything get familiar with each other. All right, next we're gonna do the breading for the fried fish. And we're gonna start with one cup of cornmeal here. This is actually fine cornmeal. One teaspoon of kosher salt, one half teaspoon of ground black pepper, one half teaspoon of garlic powder, one half teaspoon of onion powder, and one half teaspoon of paprika. And what we're gonna do is we're actually simply just gonna mix these together, making sure that we incorporate the spice as well and get them spread throughout the cornmeal. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and set that aside. Next, we're gonna be making up the batter that we're gonna roll the fish in before we roll it in the cornmeal. And to start there, we're gonna start with about half a cup of Dijon mustard. And I love crystal hot sauce, so we're gonna go ahead and throw in about two tablespoons of crystal hot sauce. And then we're simply just gonna mix those two together. I know that this doesn't seem like much, but a little bit really goes a long way whenever it comes to just coating the fish. Next is making the spice blend for the seared fish tacos. So we're gonna, we have equal parts, which is one half teaspoon each, of garlic powder, 
onion powder, kosher salt, and cumin. And we're simply just gonna mix these together well. There's no real reason to do much more than that. We're also gonna set these aside. All right, now that everything else is out of the way, we can cut our fish. What I'm gonna do here to start is I'm actually just gonna split it right down the middle. And that's gonna give us long skinny pieces that are actually pretty good for cutting into fish strips for fish tacos. So as you see here, it's gonna give us relatively close to even pieces that we can work with. And it's gonna give us plenty of them. So now we're gonna go ahead and get ready to do our seared fish tacos. I'm gonna take four of these and I'm gonna season them with the mentioned spice from earlier. And then we're just gonna sear them off. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn our pan on medium high heat. We're gonna get it going. Once it gets nice and warmed up, we're gonna go ahead and add in the oil. You can tell the oil is warm enough by the way it moves around so well in the pan. And so now it's time to go ahead and start putting in the fish. They really don't take long at all to go ahead and get finished up on the other side. We're going to give them just a second and we'll pull them off. Alright, so here's a look at our seared fish tacos with the charred corn salsa. And now we're going to move on to the fried ones. We're going back to the mustard hot sauce mixture and the seasoned cornmeal mixture. And we're going to take the remaining fish fingers and just toss them in and coat them with the mustard mixture. This is going to get them all, all coated and sticky and flavorful. And then we're going to place them over into the cornmeal mixture. I like to do these one at a time. If you have a lot to do, you can do them several at a time. But we want to basically make sure that we get them nice and coated without raking off any of the mustard batter. Now it's time to fry. We have our fish fingers and we have a pot of oil that's about 350 degrees here. We're just going to slowly lower them down in there. It's important that we make sure that they don't stick together. Whenever you're frying, especially in small vessels like this tiny little pot here, you want to make sure that they form a nice crust on the outside of the fish or whatever you're frying before they have time to actually stick together. And nothing tops off rich fried food with something a little bit creamy and a little bit acidic. Alright friends, so there you have it. These are our fried fish tacos with creamy dill coleslaw. And like I mentioned earlier, if you haven't got a chance to see that video yet for the coleslaw, make sure you click the link and check it out. Well, that wraps us up on how to make two of my favorite fish tacos. Comment below and let me know what you like on your fish tacos and how yours turn out. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Have a great day.